Today on Vanguard Yuka, I got new flame. Let's build it. This is Forbidden Druid. Forbidden Bike is one of our new 2020 sponsors. You never heard of Forbidden? That's okay. Forbidden is a fairly new company based in BC. Look at this beautiful frame! But also it looks weird. 130mm of travel in the rear and it's high pivot. A high pivot bike is said to be more stable on junky trails. Just I cannot wait to see how this frame moves under me. It must feel great though. Before we start building my new bike, this beauty needs to be dressed up. Here we came to Ride Wrap in Worcester. Since we don't have a clean workplace, Ride Wrap let us use their space. Nobody wants their precious bike to get scratched. Was it super windy last time we did it? We did it in the park outside. Yeah. In the park. Yeah, there's like ducks and stuff walking through there. People fishing, <laughs> yes. We didn't follow the instructions. This year, we got not only a perfect workplace, but also a great teacher. Using your hand yeah. to hold the piece and put it tension and even a little stretch if needed. Much better than last year. Now, nobody can scratch my beautiful bike frame. <laughs> This looks wicked. Yeah? Nice job. I can start working here. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> the frame is ready, but we have to build our new wheels now. Here we are at the Noble Wheels, one of the other sponsors. Since Forbidden Bike is only for 29ers, I'm gonna ride 29ers this year. Last chance to de decide if you still want red. <laughs> yes, I am! Okay, good. Red Chris King Free Hub. And in 2020, Noble Wheels got something really special. These new rims are bonkers. They're crazy looking here. Yeah. This is Kira 37, and they're waving! Those people who are fascinated by the beauty of wheels designed these crazy looking rims. And new rims are stronger and more compliant. Those rims are gonna save my ass when I case really badly. I bet I will see it soon. And it's time to build my new bike. Some bike parts we bought new, but some parts are from my old bike. Bike parts are expensive, and they are still good conditions. Thank you for riding with me, Noko Wrench 2019. Bye bye! This dropper post is from Trans X, 125mm, one year old. I know, I have really short legs. This dropper post has been great past one year. I just needed to change the cable once, and that's it. Minimum maintenance is the best. This is a new suspension fork, 150mm of travel, rock shock, Lyric. I was using RockShock Yari last year and I've never had an issue with their forks. Even though we installed them really get away. And we are doing the same thing in 2020. I know you're really freaking out. Let me know on the comment. <laughs> and my bar is 71 centimeters and I have a Grips ODI Rogue. Both are one year old. I really like those grips. I cannot think of using other grips. This is Shimano St. Blake's, about two years old. Some people might think that St. Blake's are too strong for a small person like me. In fact, I really like them. When I was using Shimano XT brakes at the steep section or in cold weather, I had to use also a mid finger to squeeze the brakes. Yes! And that made my hand sore. But St. Briggs, knowing that I can slow down on steep sections made me want to try more stuff. Oh, this one's still pretty good. Now those beautiful noble wheels need tires. I have WTV Vigilante, new on the front and used on the back. 
since the mountains in BC are still under snow and those trails are quite tacky and slippery. I really hope that those tires do a good job. This line is for the gear. This is the SRAM NX Ego. Rear derailleur is 4 months old. And 12 speed new cassette. I personally not a big fan of this derailleur. Just because it's really long and I feel like it's shaking a lot. And this part gets loose easily, especially on a jump trail. And I have to tighten up often. In 2020, my bike is changing quite a bit. It's not Noko anymore. I had been riding only Noko bikes for 6 years. And the new bike is high pivot and less trouble in the rear. Riding 29er makes me a bit worried as well. But I have a feeling all those new experiences makes me a better rider and I can understand about bikes more. Thanks to Eric for building my new bike and he also built his own new bike. Go check his video, the link down below. And thanks to our sponsors. Nice. This bike looks so good. In 2020, I don't have any more hole on my butt. I'm gonna say bye bye to those knee pads. And hello to race face and bush. I cannot wait to go ride and share the experience with you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.